What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. A subscriber tagged me on Instagram to what we're going to be talking about today. Shout out to the brother, One Roy DeMio. Check him out on Instagram, One Roy DeMio. Follow him. Let him know that O'Shea sent you. And it revolves around this story on the Cup Boys show on YouTube. Check them out. The full episode is there. And you have this OnlyFans model who had somewhat of an experience with Mr. Jake Paul. All right. Um, now, what I'd like to do is um, huh. I can't believe I'm going to play this. But now let me go ahead and uh, play play this clip and then we're going to come back. Jake Paul stuck his fingers up her ass it 10 was... minutes after t- after she took a <laughs> and he put them in my mouth <laughs> and I sucked it off and I said, mm, like, <laughs> I didn't know though, it was Jake Paul. And the whole room smelled like <laughs> afterwards. What Basically, you... I'm a rider. You know, I didn't like enjoy the taste of her What did it I taste acted... like? Did you compare <laughs> it to a food? It tasted exactly how it smells. <laughs> so guys, you've, you've heard what was said there um actually it's the cuff boys show it appears to be okay but anyways so now this is what i, I want to talk about today this is very interesting firstly this young lady <laughs> openly talks about eating you know what? And of course, we had to bleep out the word, but excrement, if you will, okay? Then putting it in her mouth. Like, what person has any respect for themselves? Even if you were to do that, I mean, and you've been hearing about things like this, like these ladies who like golden showers. You guys know what golden showers is. Young Miami talking about that. Amara Lanegra was talking about that. Now you have, you know, these these young women talking about eating poo poo, which is very interesting to say the least. Now, at certain points, when you're um, you're young lady, and you talk like this, uh, you, you you can find an idiot to marry you, right? You probably can, but you're never gonna find somebody that's worth their weight in gold to marry you. Because once a man knows you eat poo poo, who can even deal with that? Like, hey, my wife ate poo poo for another man before. Like, the, the most you can be is like side, you know, a side B. But you're seeing that this you're seeing that now. I'm going to tell you why you're seeing that so often now, because women don't really have any respect for what men think. Because they feel like, you know what? I look good. I'm hot. It doesn't matter. Or I'm going to go viral or I'm going to be the next only fans model or I'm trying to basically get clout and things like that. And what they don't understand is, you know, that's short term money. That money doesn't last always because what you produce makes money. This is what they're doing. And they want attention. But you don't you don't realize that you make it bad for yourself. None of, none of these ladies out there that get like BBLs, IG models, none of them have like great long-term relationships with men. They don't. Like look at Superhead. She was one of the first um models out here that we would say you know only fans if you want to use that terminology things like that what did we find out about her in her 40s she still can't keep anybody the guys that she would would, would, were able to deal with are like rappers like little wayne bow wow they don't take her serious and and way in life in 40 guys are still not taking her serious they don't take her serious 
people. And then when a man doesn't take you serious, it all becomes, you know, this man's fault. You know, oh, I can't believe these guys are doing me like this. You hear Amber Rose, you know, for many years, she's talked about, you know, the slut walk and things like that. And now all of a sudden, nobody wants to be, deal with you. Now you hate all men now. You know, you you, 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 you can't find a good date. And you, you think that you can just come and say anything you want and a man is going to like that? I mean, we got to be honest here. As men, we just can't say anything and expect a woman to take us serious. There are just certain things you can't do. Um, you have to have certain things going on for yourself and be a man, right? I just If I want to talk to a woman, I can't be just, you know, going outside like I'd have to, you know, even if I'm dusty, I need to at least take show some evidence taking care of myself, having some money, being respectful. Because if a woman doesn't take you seriously, she doesn't give you any attention. The difference is when a man takes you, don't take you seriously, he can still have sex with you. Whereas usually a woman will take you seriously, she ain't going to really engage with you so often. But, you know, when a man doesn't take a woman seriously, it's it's a bad thing. You might be in love with that guy, but he don't respect you. And if a man is going to do anything for you, if he's going to sacrifice himself for you, first thing that has to happen, he has to respect. A man has to have respect for you as a woman. The first thing a woman has to do to get a man to build for her in her life. And I'm not saying that she needs a man to build for her. I'm not saying that. But if she would like that, here's what she needs to do. Make a man respect you. It always works. Man respects you. Hey, you got something going. Man respects you. He can do some great things for you. He can get up in the morning. He can work all day. He can work all night. He can take you to vacations. If you don't got the money, he'll find a way how to get it. But once he doesn't respect you anymore, look out. If you are not a woman to be respected, look out. It's always bad news. It's never good news. It's always bad. The news is bad. When a man don't respect you. A man can't deal with you. It's always bad. It's always terrible. And these are the same women that will be sitting back and complaining about, well, I don't know why men don't want to get married. Men are cheap. Men are trash. And then, like, look what you talk about, though. Like, as a young lady, look at what, look, look at, look at, look at the things you talk about and discuss openly. And again, they don't look at the fact that men, like, hey, hey, like, why did you say that? They don't think that men cannot be turned off. And, and, and you're seeing it all the time. Like so many men are getting turned off in today's world. I know they don't care, but it's just truth. A lot of men are turned off. And this is one of the reasons why men don't want to like, it, it's not making a man want to build or, or, or do great things for a woman. Cause it's like, wait, what, why am I doing that for you? It doesn't make any sense. Like I'm like if a man ever feels like I'm wasting my time by doing this for you, it's bad. It's very bad, right? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.